shut that off. Take number 37. You're right. <laughs> I just wing it. And so the camera becomes my sword. Welcome to the Blur Vinci Code. Maybe you could help solve the puzzle of my life. This is called Life is a Blur. I'm telling my life story. Okay. I was born in Massapequa. No, it's not one of those type of stories. But I was born in Massapequa though. So, there's over 70, over 70 intense, bizarre stories to share with you. We're gonna start with story one. Baby Blur, no, child Blur, age five. See these hands? See these hands? The first story is about the hands of the Blur Vinci Code. My hands, the story of my life, my fucking hands. You don't understand. But first, I gotta call someone out that might be seeing this. You know who you are. You know what I'm about to say? You know what I'm about to say? You know that it's you that I'm talking about. You know it's you. And I care a lot about you. And I just want to be friends. I won't say your name. But why aren't you my friend? What the hell? What the hell? How dare you? How could you? How could you be like this? Just call me. Everything will be fine. I'm not going to confront or say anything. I just want to be friends again. What the heck? What the hell? This isn't funny. You left. You left and never talked to me again. It drove me crazy. You can't say that my messages is the reason that you stopped talking to me, okay? First of all, you left. I'm so psychic. I'm super psychic. You know that I am. Come on. Telepathic. You know the tele telepathy story. Come on. Our friendship is very special. You know the telepathy story with the song Goat Yay. Somebody that I used to know that was playing in the car the day before you showed up into my life again. And I telepathically communicated to you, Melanie, please contact me. Then the next day you're here in Long Island from Hollywood, California. Come on, this is a very special friendship. Stop messing around. This isn't funny. This hurts. I declare that the most painful moment of my life, Melanie. And you know I've been through some stuff. And that's why this story is gonna get kicked off. And then when I succeed, I'm gonna make the film, Life is a Blur. It's gonna be a horror story, yup. It's gonna be 99% horror. 1% I find God. Then the sequel, Blur's Redemption. I have to reach redemption first, but I'm not going to succeed for a while anyway, so it's going to take a year to three years of blogging, vlogging for me to reach success, but I'm up to 97 videos right now. And then this is over 70 stories. I'm sweating a little bit because I just took a hot shower because I had the, some crazy things going on. I can't, I can't even get into that. Let's tell the first story. As seen through these blurry goggles of mine, as experienced by me. This is what I see, this story, this is what I feel. Age five, you could just call me finger slammer, cause I got my fingers slammed in so many doors. As I have it, it was three times in cabinet doors, one time in the fridge, and three times in a car door, when I was a child. Yes, it's a freaking crazy story. And the third time in the car door, when my Aunt Eve slammed my fingers into the rusty buggy car. My hand was in a cast 
at the hospital going to get my hand checked out. Okay, you following the Blood Vinci code here? You following it? I have hyperhidrosis disorder. My hands sweat. I'm super sensitive. I have the psychic power. I'm ultra sensitive to everything around me. Do you get it now? Do you understand? <sighs> Glad to get that off my chest. Okay, there was some other cabinet doors and stuff. Hold on. It's like really humid in here after taking a hot shower. <sighs> so three times in the cabinet door. Then the time in the fridge. This is how I seen this, right? My Aunt Dawn takes, after I slam my hand in this rusty, yellow, like, uh, it was worn out, like faded, like the metal, the paint was like faded away. <laughs> And as with the finger, that, can you see it good enough in the light? <laughs> as the finger got slammed in the refrigerator door, my aunt took my finger over to the sink. And what I seen through my eyes was blood and bone and... Oh, God. That's story number one of the Blur Vinci Code. Life is a motherfucking blur. I am blur. If you don't know, that's my meaning. From age five to 17, the stories are fucking nuts. But... From age 17 to now is a straight up nightmare. Just saying that made me think of the movie Street Kings with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, my favorite actor. The guy, the guy that went up against Keanu Reeves, uh, Common, the rapper, Common Sense. He's like, we straight nightmares, son. He's like, we are your exigent circumstances. Yo, check that movie out. That's like my favorite movie right now because Keanu Reeves' character is fearless. And he's like a soldier of God. He's like a holy warrior angel. And the character, I'm, I'm spoiler alert right here. I'm telling you, Forrest Whitaker is the devil, right? And, uh, he tempts everyone around him, and everyone falls into the devil's trap, except for Keanu Reeves. And there's a few martyrs in the story, too, that get killed. That story's awesome, because it's all about fearlessness, and that's where I'm at in life right now. Chilling with Blair, Blair Vinci Code. Story number one. Peace.